The new secret level trailer reveals some shocking new details and brand new footage for its Dungeons and & Dragons and Warhammer 40k episodes. A crusade to cleanse the stars. The new secret level trailer has just dropped and it may actually have shed a ton of light on the storylines for the D&D and 40k episodes of the upcoming Amazon series. Before we dive into that, why not take a second to hit those like and subscribe buttons to help us keep the channel going. Then let's take a look at these huge new reveals. Can't wait! Let's start with the Warhammer episode, where we see that not only are the Space Marines fighting the Tyranids, splattering their bioluminescent blood everywhere like we saw in the original trailer, in this new trailer they are also clearly taking on Chaos Cultists. While their enemies may look like ordinary humans at first glance, which could be anything from Renegade Guardsmen to Gene Stealer Cultists, when you look closely and you see the spiky ornamentation on their armor and the horns on their helmets, that would clearly mark them out as Chaos Cultists, and probably Worshippers of Corn specifically. So we know that the episode follows Lieutenant Titus again from the Ultramarines, the main character of the Space Marine video games, who is sent on a new mission by Lord Calgar. But now we know that that mission most likely is going to span multiple planets, with Titus taking on the Tyranids on one, and the Forces of Chaos on the other in a massive quest to wipe out the Xenos and heretics that plague the Empire of Man. Honestly, it's just great to get some confirmation that we'll get to see the Space Marines take on some good old-fashioned cultists in the new episodes after slogging through just seas of Tyranid enemies in Space Marine 2. We think the best parts of that game are where you actually get to fight the Chaos Space Marines and their forces, so it looks like we'll have more of that headed our way when the 40k episode drops. No matter how many vermin they send, I will cut them down. Now, for the Dungeons & Dragons episode, we actually got a lot of insight on what the plot might be, along with some amazing new footage. First off, it seems like the episode will focus around a female Goliath who appears to be grappling with some of the dark actions in her past, so based on her armor and weaponry, like shield, sword, heavy, plate with lots of ornamentation, we're thinking Redemption Oath Paladin most likely? We also got a shot of what appears to be a Dwarven Monk using their Catch Projectiles ability to snatch an arrow out of the air and return it to Cinder with lethal effect. We also see a glimpse of the full party as they head out to attack Tiamat, with the Goliath trying to reassure their wizard that he is not alone and doesn't need to try and hold back the power of the Dragon God by himself. Now, while Tiamat is a popular character in D&D, outside of Dragonlance, which this clearly will not be based in, there is really only one major story and adventure that focuses heavily on the Queen of Chromatic Dragons, and that's one of the classic OG adventures of 5th edition, Tyranny of Dragons, which follows a party as they fight the Cult of the Dragon and their plans to release Tiamat from the Nine Hells, and which ends with the party fighting an aspect of Tiamat herself. Now, we know D&D and Wizards of the Coast are very fond of this storyline, as it's been reprinted and repackaged from its original 2014 release, and it's shown up as a module in their popular Neverwinter MMORPG. So could we be getting an abbreviated version of that story in the new Secret Level series? They certainly appear to be fighting robed figures that could be dragon cultists, and they're definitely taking on Tiamat or an aspect of Tiamat at the end of the trailer. So don't be shocked if Tyranny of Dragons winds up being the basis of the upcoming D&D episode. So what do you think? Are you more excited for the D&D or the 40k episode of Secret Level? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. 